Pakistan's former president Asif Ali Zardari is set to be elected as the 14th president of the country. The new president would replace the incumbent Dr. Arif Alvi, whose five-year term ended last year. The time for polling for the presidential election has already begun. A joint session of the parliament will be held at Parliament House, in which the members of the National Assembly and the Senate will exercise their right to vote. Pakistan People's Party co-chairman and former Pakistan President Zardari will be the candidate of the Allied parties in the presidential election. According to reports, all Allied parties comprising the ruling coalition have confirmed their support. In a statement, Pakistan's Prime Minister Shabaz Sharif said that Zardari's presence in office will make it easier for the ruling government to pass bills and move the economy forward. 68-year-old Zardari is a businessman turned politician. He is also the husband of former Pakistan Prime Minister Benazir Bhutto. Zardari served as a president from 2008 to 2013. He will also be the first civilian to be elected for the second time as president. He is also the chairman or the co-chairman of the Pakistan People's Party. According to the constitution, the president is indirectly elected by an electoral college comprising federal and provincial lawmakers. According to the Election Commission of Pakistan, the polling will be held from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. local time. But that has changed because it will be held from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. local time in Parliament House and the four provincial assemblies. The PMLN-led ruling coalition has calculated that its candidate, Asif Ali Zardari, would get more than 400 electoral votes. Well, our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik is now joining us live from Parliament House in Islamabad. Anas Malik, good to see you. Asif Ali Zardari is perceived to win the elections and become the first civilian to be president for a second time. With that being said, take us through how the elections will be conducted. Well, certainly so. The first part of your question is indeed quite significant uh, with regards to Asif Ali Zadari set to become the president for the second time, a civilian person set to become the president for the second time. His opponent is uh, Mahmoud Achakzai, uh, who has been known for his anti-establishment politics, and that is perhaps one of the reasons he's been nominated by PTI Bad Sunni Itihad Council. But onwards to Asif Ali Zadari, I think uh, this is quite significant for the fact that Asif Ali Zardari, uh, when he became president for the first time, he was uh, when he entered office, he was the most powerful president in Pakistan's history. But when he exited, uh, he was the most powerless person. He gave up a 58 to be the draconian and dictatorial powers that the president had to uh, dissolve the assembly. He uh, he was the one who was the architect of uh, 18th Amendment. He and his party, which went on to devolve the power, the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, uh, is uh, is said he is the architect of that and so is the Iran-Pakistan gas pipeline. But one thing very interesting is the fact that Asif Ali Zardari was also the person who said Pakistan has to be united when there was a lot of uh, anger and uh, 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 there was a lot of anger since the assassination of Benazir Bhutto in 2007 in the first term. Now, uh, with regards to the electoral process, it began at 10 a.m. in the morning here at the Parliament House that's behind me and it will continue till 4 p.m. Pakistan time. Roughly about uh, 80 votes have been casted. Uh, both Senate and uh, National Assembly members, they, they are being called name-wise alpha, alphabetically. And they then go take the ballot paper, mark a cross against the candidate through a special pencil uh, through, uh, in, a, in, a, in a booth. And this is through a secret ballot. The, while the polling is uh, to, to be completed by 4 p.m. But in case if all the members poll their vote, then the results could be announced even earlier. Eric. Anas Malik, now that you've mentioned it, we understand that the voting has already started. Are most of the parliamentarians in attendance? 
Yes, certainly. So it looks like uh, the parliament, uh, the there is a full house in session, not just uh, parliamentarians, but senators as well. Uh, remember the Pakistani Senate, uh, uh, half of it is set to end its term later, uh, uh, later this week. And uh, in context of that, it is uh, important to have a full house. So by the looks of it, most of the senators and parliamentarians are there in uh, are there uh, 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 in attendance. But those who are not, they have ample uh, uh, amount of time on their hands to come to the Parliament House by 4 p.m. Pakistan time and to be able to cast their vote for the presidential elections. Eric, that is our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik outside the Parliament Building or Parliament House in Islamabad, Pakistan. Thank you, Anas. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.